please start off and introduce yourself to our site visitors. Hello there, I'm Dango from Track Fighters. I play the fussy guitar. Great, thank you. So how are you enjoying Carolina Rebellion so far? Oh, it's really cool. The show was really, really fun and the people were into it, even though we played quite early. We were actually the first band on, so... <laughs> it looked like there was still a ton of people here, so that's awesome. Yeah, it was great. It was a few thousand, I would say, so it was really cool, really cool. We talk about the album Universe for a little bit and how the feedback's been everything. It's got such a positive buzz around it. I think, especially here in the States, I mean, every review I've seen has been really good. So that feels, of course, really nice. So, what can I say? <laughs> it's great. I mean, you guys are hitting the festival circuit pretty hard this summer, too, here. So, like, what's most exciting about that? I mean, the most exciting thing would be to have a chance to reach out to the like the normal rock crowd and not just the super underground, uh, like, really, really, those people, this, some people actually are into underground music and then there's a wider audience who likes it, but it's, they don't really know how to get it. And once you play these bigger festivals, they will know how to get it, hopefully. So it's really, that feels really good. So did I read somewhere that the uh, quote-unquote stoner rock god gave you guys his seal of approval? How has that been like, you know, what does that mean to you? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure he was super serious when he said we were the best band that existed, but I think he likes us, otherwise he wouldn't have said anything about it. So of course that that's really, really cool for us. Yeah. How do you feel about the success in the States so far? Because like it is, like everywhere I look, like the name is just buzzing. I mean, right now I think we have a really good momentum here, over here, and in Europe as well. And, but in Europe we had a, a better, a big buzz for a few years, and, it, and it, how, here in the States it's coming right now. It feels like we're actually getting, getting there. Yeah, I know, I see you guys have a show coming up in Philly. That's our neck of the woods. Like, we're down here in Carolina, but we're really from Philly. <laughs> so, like, what other touring plans do you have for the rest of the summer? Uh, we're going to go to Canada. After this year's tour, we go home for like a week to two, two festivals in Europe. Then we fly to Canada for a week and do some, uh, sh some club shows in a festival or two. Then we go back for festival summer in Europe again. And then we're going to do two big Canadian festivals uh, like Montreal, uh, Heavy Montreal. And we're going to do like Quebec City Fest where Soundgarden is headlining there. So it's like my favorite band. So that's really cool. That's got to be surreal for you. Yeah, and we're playing just, uh, it's just one band in between us on the same stage there, so that's really, really, really cool. So. Amazing. So, what song of yours would you say resonates the most with listeners so far? Uh, I think listeners seem to like Mind Control, the first song of the new album, and Prophet. But also, it seems like the more like progressive, longer songs is also like really appreciated. Like Mastodont, it's 13 and a half minutes. And uh, it gets really good uh, criticism. See, like I love that because you can kind of lose yourself in the music when listening to that, and it evokes that kind of emotion. Like it doesn't need, you know. It's it's all about like building a vibe, you know. And uh, we don't think like let's do a, a 13 minute epos when we write the song. It's for what happened happens, and uh, we just build a feeling and we continue, and we don't really look at the, the time of the song. We just. We do it and we do what we feel like and uh, what we love and we don't think about making a hit song or something that's going to be played on radio because we just we want to do stuff that feels right, comes from our heart and I think the people appreciate that. Absolutely. So are you ever surprised by what songs that fans like seem to, that seem to resonate with them? Not the fans, but I'm surprised that so many like like uh, reviewers, writers have uh, like written up Mastodont because it's like the longest song ever we made. So I didn't expect that. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me here at Carolina. We'll be out at Rock on the Range too, so hopefully we will see you guys out there in Ohio. <laughs> Is there any comments you'd like to share with fans? Ah! Okay, you made me jump, but that's good. <laughs> now I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> Great. Thanks.